Hi there, everyone. This is Iram the Sneem for All to New. Welcome to another session of Creative Coloring with Iram. Today, I will be coloring with the All to New Artist watercolor set, and the stamp that I will be using is the Statement Flowers stamp set. I'm using my stamp positioner to stamp today because I am stamping on watercolor paper and it's slightly textured. So normally I don't mind mist stamping, I just go over the mist lines with a permanent pen. But today I thought I'd clear emboss the image so that when I'm colouring, I won't have to be super careful. As all of you who are familiar with the heat embossing know that the embossing creates a wall kind of between images, uh, which stops the paint um, or water from going over the other areas. I have used obsidian ink by the way which is a pigment ink and uh, stays wet a while so i directly poured crystal clear embossing powder over it and heat set it for the flower i'm mixing tea party watercolor a bit of summer afternoon watercolor and a little bit of red cosmos a pigment i will start by applying a light wash of uh, color and uh, wetting the <clears throat> petal completely so that when I add darker pigment, it will flow easily. I will move on to the next petal and come back again to the first one as it dries a bit. You will see me adding darker pigment where I want to show folds or depth and also on the notches at the tip of the petals. I'll also keep uh, smoothing this out. Uh, this will take a while. I will build the color in layers. Just remember that the petal that is below another petal will be a tad darker or will have a bit of shadow on it. The one that is curled outwards will have a slight highlight to it. Don't be afraid to add a dark pigment and if you are a bit scared Start by adding um, it as stippling like I am doing with red cosmos here. When it becomes too harsh or prominent, I add clear water right away to soften it a bit. Do you see the shadow, the depth that just appeared because of this? The other half now looks curled outwards, right? To show more depth, I will also add rock collection watercolor and I will add this while the previous watercolor layer is still wet so that the lines are not that harsh. You will be able to see the depth right away. Be a little careful and gentle while doing this, also a bit precise. Stick to the base of the petal so th you don't accidentally create mud. But if you do, add more red cosmos. I am talking from experience. Also, clean water container um, and a tissue paper. Um, always keep it handy and close by just to be on the safe side. For the second flower, I am using the same colors that I have on the palette, but I will keep this lighter than the uh, other flower. For variation, I will still be adding stippling of slightly darker pigment and additionally, I will add a hint of yellow to the petals. This is to differentiate the underside of the petals. And I will also add a rock collection uh, watercolor to show shadows to where the upper side of the petal is showing slightly on the base of the petal. 
for the leaves i'll start by applying water to the area and then tropical forest watercolor this will be the first layer i'll add darker pigment where the leaf is coming out from under the flower to show shadow i'll also add rock collection watercolor here and mix it with the already wet green layer for these thinner curled leaves i'll start by adding delectable delights watercolor it's a brown color for the first layer and to add shadows show depth um i'll add coffee break which is a darker brown color and i'll also add rock collection pigment to this i will also add a bit of green to the leaves to balance the look For the flower center I'm using pocket full of sunshine, a very light layer of it, a bit of summer afternoon pigment and stippling of warm and cozy because warm and cozy is a um, bright color. So I'll just add uh, a, a diluted uh, form of stippling. To my background, I'll add a light color wash of fall harvest watercolor in a dripping look. Once done, I'll let this dry. Now the panel is dry, I'll add splatters of fall harvest watercolor. On the flowers, I'll add pure white uh, watercolor splatters to add a bit of texture. These won't be very prominent and won't take away from the detail of the shadows. I'll also add diluted tropical forest uh, splatters to balance the green. The sentiment that I'm stamping is from the Sweet Nothing stamp set. I'll stamp this in obsidian black ink. Now I'll add a few fine black paint splatters from the 36 pan watercolor set. I thought my image uh, needed a bit of oomph. Um, so I am using a graphite pencil and a blending stump to add some shadows and uh, four dimension to my one layer card. And also, did you notice that I went ahead and stamped those two extra leaves on the left? Um, yep, I felt that there was a bit um, of design, design missing, so I added uh, more stamping there. I didn't heat and wash those um, leaves because I, have al I already glued uh, my panel onto a base, but it's okay, at least the card looks nice. I hope you enjoyed the coloring session. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye!